Oh, I cannot wait to work with this deck. I, I'm so excited. Like, I'm so hyper. Hey guys, guess what's here? Oh, oh. That is the animal totem tarot deck and I've been wanting this deck forever, like ages. Like I remember a year ago or two years ago when it first came out, I was just like, I need to have this deck because I love animal imageries and animal symbolism. And, but yeah, I just never got to. I finally purchased it online as, as a little splurge of the month. And it came yesterday and it took me all my self-restraint to not open it. And, you know, because I wanted to make a video and I didn't have time to make a video. So yeah, here we go. Making a first impressions and unboxing video. For this, I will let you see me rip this box apart. Uh, uh, okay, that didn't work. Ooh, wow, it's really, really good. Okay, so 50% off. Uh, Screw that shit, I don't care about that. Ooh, what is that? It's a shipping label, it's a sticker. I don't know why it's a sticker. I will never stick it on anything. <gasps> oh my god, it looks so amazing. Yeah, sorry, there's like, a, oh, you can actually see my, <laughs> you can actually see my phone on the, on its reflection. Okay, let's take a look at the box. Illustrated by Eugene Smith and the deck is by Lisa Robertson journey into the realm of the animals and discover the messages that await in spirit. Oh my god, it looks oh, I'm so excited. It looks so gorgeous already. Okay, let me open this little ah, let's open this this uh, little box of wonder. Okay. I want to damage it. Okay, I will try to do this on cam. So <laughs> <gasps> All right, as usual, with all the publications from L I can never pronounce this word properly. Um, Lowell, 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 Ah, I really, really. Oh my God, this book! I love. Oh, it's printed on my favorite paper. Oh, it's just the fresh smell of ink. Ooh, and I, oh, I had journal spaces. Oh my God, okay. So, quick look at the book. Oh my god, it's it's just it's it's amazing. It's literally like a novel and I'm guessing that's the four of pentacles. Interesting. It's a squirrel. This instantly reminds me of the Squirrel Knight. Nine of Pentacles from Universal Fantasy Tarot and that's honestly one of my favorite knights, but anywho, look how thick this is. Like that's my hand. Well, I don't know if you can tell how big my hand is. Tarot for the un initiated aligning the tarot with the energy of the animals the how-to of a reading okay so standard basic stuff power animals and animal totems and animal guides so it goes into like animal archetypes and animal guides and totems a little bit elemental energies the animals we fear okay interesting and then the next several chapters uh, understanding a journey before you begin major con on the royal families and the minor con i love it i love anything that is like story story rich it looks like the court cards are not court cards because obviously uh there's no such thing as a court in the animal kingdom so it makes sense that they have royal families i love that i just love like sort of any sort of reinterpretation of like the the categories in tarot like you know like i like to say the minor arcana are like the different elemental clans and then i love how they said it's like the royal families okay so this is how it's laid out so the first one is the full i think that is a grasshopper yes it is a grasshopper so it gives you the full or just like the the traditional card and then it tells you what animal it is and then it has a little passage oh what the message is from the grasshopper what the i guess the messages from the animal totem so this explains like a bit about the fool and then how it's related to the grasshopper okay well leap of faith i guess or just that leap okay and then it has it's uh splits off into like several smaller sections like this is in career family relation uh, and relationships health and well-being card of the day journal prompts i love it i love oh i love journal prompts this is like the ultimate workbook this is kind of like the kind of workbook i'm aspiring to write it's like if i ever create my tarot deck which i will by the way one day i'm still looking for my illustrator twin flame like tarot twin flame where we can kind of create something together and then we are sort of like you know we align in artistic vision blah 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 so i'm still looking for that person 
But yeah, one day I will have my own tarot deck and you just wait. Let's take a look at the cards. Ooh, oh my god, this is the back cover. Ugh. I'm just gonna... <laughs> you can see the reflection, you can see what's like... Oh, you can see what's, what's around my desk. <laughs> but yeah, that's the back. Um, oh my god, I'm just gonna hold it here. It's absolutely amazing. So there's some um, flowers. Are they orchids? I'm not really sure, but they look like mandalas. It's really cool. And then the, you see these animals sort of circling, circling the center. And there's like birds, there's bees, and is that a, that's a lynx or maybe a bobcat? I'm not sure. Uh, that's definitely a rabbit and more animals. This is remind, reminding me of like Noah's Ark for some reason, just because it's so like how the animals are collected in pairs and then they're supposed to like, you know, be protected under the will of God and everything. And, you know, I always, like, I always thought that was a really cool story. I mean, you can question the scientific aspect of it as in like, oh, how do animals get along? Like, what do the predators eat all the like... You know, all the omnivores and the other, like, sort of, like, the weaker animals wouldn't the food chain work. But I think symbolically, I think it's really representing that harmony and that peace. How every species and every creature, every living being agrees to kind of cease fire. You know, like, from Jungle Book, they have this, like, water truce or whatever. It's kind of like that. They have this agreement where... You know, we are in this moment of crisis. We're all earthlings. We are in this together. And we are going to preserve balance by not adhering to the ecosystem or not adhering to that balance. Anyway, okay. Oh, I thought the card stuck was kind of thick, but then it's actually two cards. Oh yeah, so the it is the magician from the, from the box. It is the fox. Obviously, the four elements are there. For some reason, that really looks like the two of swords. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, so for some reason, like, this really reminded me of Two of Swords. Might be because of the snow. Um, you know, the Two of Swords in Dreaming Way is just, like, the background is completely covered in snow. Okay, let's see. So the cardstock is... It's not as shiny or smooth as, say, like, the Steampunk Tarot or the other decks from, from this publisher. The High Priestess is obvious. Oh, it's the spider. I love it. Spider, you know has a symbolism of storytelling and you know everything is interwoven together and that we're all just in this one big web of of stories as as, as earthlings oh, of course the lovers it's like a pair of swans that's very sweet okay let's see oh <gasps> it's like orca oh my god the cherry is oh. strength i love it i love that resilience feel Huh, it's interesting how they didn't portray a lion in the strength card. Which I think um, is interesting because when you think of strength, I mean, in the traditional right away, strength card is about sort of just owning your inner strength, owning yourself, owning, um, inhabiting your own space and sort of having power over or just within that space of yours and not giving power to someone else. So that's why the lion succumbs to the maiden. That's why the lion is, that's why the maiden is able to just be like, you know, I know I'm powerful. I don't need to prove anything to you. And this is why you must submit kind of thing. But this really has a strong vibe of resilience, how you just have to keep going. You have to believe in your own strength that you are able to overcome anything in life. Doesn't matter how hard the road seems, doesn't matter how heavy uh, your 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 load is doesn't matter how 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 heavy your your baggage is i guess but it's about the choice to move forward and it's about that resilience huh the devil's a bobcat or a cat huh i never thought a, the devil card would be a feline but lots of interesting choices here oh my god this is so gorgeous oh the star is a clam of course or an oyster or something it's like your inner treasure your inner star oh i love the idea Judgment! It's so Christmassy! What the heck? It's so Christmassy! But then Santa Claus is in there. Is it that, that day of gifting? That day where like you, this is the day where you appreciate things, where you sort of fill yourself with gratitude and then you recognize the things around you. It's almost ritualistic. 
yeah, it kind of seems like <laughs> it almost like Santa Claus quit. It's like, oh, I don't want this job anymore. I've received my awakening. I have bigger plans for my life. But then he's a Santa Claus, right? <laughs> Anyhow, the world. Oh, wow. I don't know how to call this kind of landscape. Some kind of volcanic ring or... But yeah, that looks like this sort of self-contained paradise where it's self-realized and everything is perfect and great and it doesn't need anybody's approval. It's, it just exists. It, is, ex it exists in the premise or of its own existence. Something like that. As in, like, it just is. Like, it just is. And it's happy about it. Okay, so let's take a look at the wands. Oh my god, this deck is so gorgeous. Oh, do a wands. Is that a hippo? Could be a hippo. Could be a man manta ray? It's a manta ray. Yeah, it's a manta ray or a stingray. Seven of wands. Is that a skunk? Ah, ah, oh my god. The skunk is a skunk, but it, it's often misunderstood. Oh, love the eight of wands. Love that. I love how it's coming towards you as in like, watch out. I'm coming. Full speed ahead. This is me. Me. This is the guy. You do you, right? Like, you do you. A snail for ten of wands. That's so cool. Like, I, so far, I'm just mind blown. Like, absolutely mind blown. Ugh. By this deck. Like, honestly, this is too amazing. Like, too amazing for words. <laughs> Nine of Wands is an ostrich. That's interesting because, like, when I think of ostrich, well, the iconic thing about the ostrich is that it's bur it buries its head when there's dangers. So, that comes to, that, that kind of becomes a symbol for denial or uh, being an illusion or not wanting to face reality. Nine of Wands. That's kind of interesting because Nana Wands is pretty self-absorbed when it comes to pursuing his own desires and his experiences. He's just like, he just does whatever he wants, right? So it doesn't really matter what his environment is like or what other people say. Yeah, and this Oster looks like a gladiator, man. Like, he, he really looks like gladiator. I mean, I mean, he is the biggest bird, right? So that makes sense. Oh, if you don't own this deck, get it. It's worth it. Like, it's worth your money. Ooh, ooh, King of Wands. Interesting. Huh. I mean, it's kind of like a size contrast, right? It's like, that's Queen of Wands. That's King of Wands. You know, when it comes to the size of the animal, I, I expect the king to be bigger. I don't know what um, animal this is. I'm just going to keep it aside. I'm going to check it later. Oh, oh no. Ooh. I think it's a beaver. Beaver's wounded. And then he kind of has to... It breaks my heart when animals kind of, I don't know how they perceive death, you know, I don't, I don't know how they perceive like a mortal wound. Uh, do they, are they aware of their own mortality? Do, when they see this, do they, how do they react? You know, a lot of animals would mourn for their dead, like ele elephants do, and I think crows or ravens do. Um, yeah, but I honestly don't know, like somehow this just evokes really deep emotions within you because animals can't express their emotions. As humans, we project a lot of how we understand the emotions from that situation. We project a lot into the picture. So I think, you know, that's one of the reasons why I love animal in imagery is because it can be so potent and powerful because the way it evokes your your human emotions and... Yeah, because animals don't have language for this kind of thing, right? Like, I mean, I, at least, I mean, like, we don't speak the same language. So the way we understand animal emotions are, we, it's, it's such a powerful sort of circuit when it comes to self-reflection. It's like, it makes you tap into your own emotions more because you're trying to feel the spaces and the voids that's left, sort of, le left void by the lack of language that, you know, like, you know, because, you know, by, by the lack of language. Six of Cups, ah, oh, happy otters. It's a really nice turn of events. Five of Cups really depressed me. Okay, I'm not, I'm only halfway through the deck yet, and then I'm, I apologize if this video gets super long, but I'm just so excited. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Ace of Swords. I'm wearing a panda t shirt, if you haven't noticed. Who is a panda t shirt? And this is a panda card. Speaking of panda cards, you know the tarot of the animal lords where the animals and humans kind of combine they look like animal humanoids? Uh, at first I thought like I was gonna okay with it 
And then I couldn't use the deck at the end because the I think I believe it was either the Eight of Cups or the Eight of Pentacles. One of those cards featured a panda, and it was a panda humanoid, a mother with breasts, and I think it was breastfeeding. And that was just I couldn't put it together. So yeah, I couldn't really use that deck. But it's a nice collector's item though. Whoa, power! Oh my gosh! Speaking of grieving for the dead, and speaking of elephants. That is such a powerful image. That is such a powerful heartache. You know, it's like in the an animal silence. You just feel like there's no human language. Like there's no, you know, words that's born from civilization or rationality or logic or human discourse. But when it comes to animals, it's really just that raw emotion. It's just like raw, just channeled to you. It's just being channeled to you. I love, I love this card. Absolutely love it. I need to do like a full grand review of this deck after I've been, you know, after I start working with this for a little bit. It's interesting how the al animals associated with the different elements are really like not what you expect. Like I said, like really, really powerful image from this deck. Like I strongly recommend it. Like, oh my god. Now I understand why people do like first impressions video. It's just that oh, first reaction, right? This is so much better than the other one I did, like the $6 mysterious tarot deck. It, it's called mysterious tarot deck, by the way. I'm not trying to like make it seem it's mysterious. That's the name of the deck. Oh, it's so much better than that one. I mean, that one was like $6, but this deck, oh my god. Earth suit. All right. I love how like oh, obviously different animals kind of originate from different parts of the land or different parts of Earth. I, I love how like I think this is the, you know, the, the giraffe is from a savanna from Africa, and for pentacles, <laughs> I love anything with a score on it. Speak of scores, I rem score rolls. I remember there's this one deck that has the happy squirrel tarot card. I need to get it. I need to get that deck. I do really, oh gosh, I really don't know. It seems so lonely, like there's such a vibe of loneliness. Six of pentacles, it's like a rooster hen, a rooster den, a hen den. Love it. Page of pentacles, that's the alpaca, I believe. There's a really bad joke when it comes to alpacas in Chinese. <laughs> it's kind of inappropriate, but if you're curious, <laughs> go look it up. Yeah, like some of the cards are stuck together. I kind of feel like the paper quality is like a downgrade from the decks I've used, I'm used to getting from the low, 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 Verdict so far. It's fr almost, it's freaking gorgeous. Like, oh my god. Yeah, so I'm just gonna quickly look up what King of Wands is. I'm really curious as to what this animal is. Maybe it's just a mouse. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. Oh, it's the Tasmanian Devil. Oh, it's from the Looney Tunes. The so it says, I know you think butter wouldn't melt in my mouth, but don't be a fool. I command and expect nothing but respect. You would do well to hold a certain amount of fear in my presence because whether I bless you or not depends on how you make me feel. You see, this is all about me. How you think or feel is irrelevant. Keep that in mind and we will get along just Fine. So it's not too long, so I'm just gonna quickly read this section, so you see what uh, how like how this book is written. In this pose, the king looks like butter would not melt in his mouth. <laughs> in fact, one could look at this resting devil and think that the hype around his behavior has been much exaggerated. This is the lure of the king of wands, but do not be fooled. For at a second's notice, things could change dramatically. This peaceful scene will disappear and only carnage will remain. The Tasmanian devil is no cuddle bunny and you would be horribly mistaken if you thought for one second you could get too close to this fiery ball with razor sharp teeth and claws. Such is the short fuse of the King of Wands. The King Tasmanian devil really does embody the unknown for what may appear as a calm, rational, safe experience can end up becoming a nightmare. The unfortunate part is you never really know either way until you get there. Action is a risk. Sometimes it pays off and sometimes it doesn't. But that does not mean you align with the energy of non-action. Mm. King of Wands does have a big ego. I mean, his entire existence is like... He's like, you know, people care about relationships or family. People care about pursuing their dreams. But King of Wands just really care about how he manifests himself and how he affects the people around him. 
Yeah, he's definitely a bit narcissistic. Mm -hmm. Very powerful, though. Okay, so, well, let's see what are some of the journal prompts this book says, uh, has. Um, so the first one, where do you need to build your confidence? So it talks about confidence. How are you letting others dictate the terms of your personal experience? What action have you been putting on because you fear the level of risk? All right, this is interesting. I like how this card sort of caught my caught my fancy because I feel like this is strangely aligning with what I'm going through in life right now. It's just struggling with confidence and burnout and that kind of stuff. This is why you're kind of not really seeing me much on social media nowadays because I'm kind of taking a break. But yeah, verdict. 200 scores out of 1,000 excited Kims and unable to contain herself. My only tiny complaint is that the car's dog is not as good as it as I'd anticipate it. But you know the rest of it, oh, gosh. So I cannot say enough about this deck already and I cannot wait to walk with this deck. I am terrible at British accents. Oh man. That's funny. Sometimes uh, when I tutor younger kids, I have to do like funny accents to entertain them and get them studying. And then I usually just start by saying, by the way, my British accent sucks. And surprisingly, a lot of my students can pull up a really cool British accent. So, anywho, that is completely unrelated. So, Animal Tarot, Animal Totem Tarot. 100 out of 100. A plus 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 S ranked. Like, ugh, sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to slap you. But yeah, oh my god, I honestly love that deck. I can't wait to work with it. I'm gonna like fill those journal spaces with my notes and then I'm gonna like study all these animal symbolisms and get to know them a bit more. Uh, yeah, I'm just really excited to work with this deck. Oh, just Lisa Robertson. Oh my god, thank you so much for creating this deck. You are amazing. Um, yeah, I think that's all I have to say about this deck for now. Wait for a grand review maybe in a few weeks. Uh, I don't know. Until I get to know this deck like um, relatively well and I'll make like a rare review. Uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, probably not going to be another unboxing video soon because I don't think I'm going to get another one. Uh, I might get one in a couple months. but Oh, actually my birthday is coming up so you never know. I might receive something. Okay, anyhow, uh, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you enjoyed the Animal Tarot and Tarot. I certainly did. You could totally tell I was, like, so high. And, yeah. Go get it, guys. Go get the deck. And until then, be the hero of your own story. <laughs>